I am using Jing software here to capture a little movie video of the screen of my Mac so that I can give you a demo of some procedures, steps you might take, ideas that will be useful to you. You're going to need this next week as we work independently on finishing up our notepad files. What I have done here, I'm going to do Command minus to zoom out within the InDesign file, Command minus to zoom out so you can see my whole page. I'm going to move it around a little bit. Command minus zooms out, Command plus zooms in, it's just like Illustrator. I have a picture here. I decided that I wanted to add a line on my layout behind the picture, but I don't want it to go over past the margin. Um, I just use the straight line tool over underneath the type tool to draw a line, and I made the color of my line similar to a color that's in the photo. I changed the color of my name to white and put it on top of the picture. You can get colors out of the swatches menu for now and kind of play around there a little bit or you can use the color menu and when in this flyout, this is called the flyout menu, this little tiny spot where you click and there's more choices. You can have the CMYK colors, CMYK for printing, and you can pick anything you want out of the color spectrum for now to use. It'll take a little experimenting, but you'll be okay. We're not doing anything particularly difficult right now. In this picture of me and our kitty, Buddy, I realized that I had this dark area on my shirt, and if I put my name in front of it, I could use that there. Okay. So the, the trick for getting the text box to slam right up against the edge of the type is double-click on the corner, and then under Object and Arrange at the top menu, Object and Arrange, you can find the forward and backward options. You will learn keyboard shortcuts for those soon. But you can find the options to move something forward or backward in space so you can stack your name over your picture partly if you want or the other way around. You can experiment with that a little bit. It's okay. Uh, command minus again to zoom out. So we are aiming for a photo of yourself that is recognizable as you and your name. And if you want to add a little something else you can, do not put a border all the way around the edge. It is too difficult to get it cut accurately so that when your layout is done, you have exactly equal spacing around all four sides. Repeat, do not put a border all the way around all four edges of the layout and expect that you're going to be able to print it and cut it accurately. Now, um, again, the the tool tip, or excuse me, I mean the thing in the layout menu that we use to make these guidelines when we put those on, that was layout and create guides. It allowed us to make columns and rows of equally spaced guides based on our page and our margin. So, so far so good. I'm going to remind you also that if you want to crop off some of the picture again, you can click on a picture and you can pull the side handles in and out top and bottom handles up and down to crop off some of the picture if you want. The keyboard shortcut we used to scale the photo to be the size you wanted was shift and command while you dragged a corner. Shift and command while you dragged a corner. 